Well, guys, here it is. Finally putting a video out on the car. I actually had a couple videos already. Uh, but uh, they somehow disappeared from my phone. Anyway, there it is. A 77 Chevy Schmidt two-door. Uh, door locks work on both sides. Door shut nice. But I've been doing some work in here. Well, not for the past couple weeks anyway. I ripped out the interior. Headliner. The car was really smelly. It had been sitting for many, many years. And it old musty smell and it got into everything. All the cloth and everything. As you can tell, it needs floor pans. I don't know how much of this you can see with the sun blaring through the car. But it's pretty rusty. Got a four speed in it. Original radio, the dash, the dash cover, glove box, everything works. I had posted a picture on my YouTube channel of this car back before I bought it to get any, get some input, but I don't know. For some reason, I never saw it. But anyway, there it is. Door panels are nice. Still haven't taken those off yet, but I'm working on it when I get time. Uh, let's see here. I can't remember. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so there's a little four banger, 1.4 liter. Somebody had already started taking this car apart when, uh, and then just kind of gave up on it. Uh, people that come from had a upholstery business not too far from here, uh, about an hour north of here, and uh, um, he had a lot of projects. And then he passed away here a couple of years ago, and had this sitting in one of those metal carports, well, enclosed carports anyway. So a lot of stuff was already taken off the car. I was actually going to put it back together and see if I could get it running, but. These cars are not dependable, and I'm certainly, these cars were not dependable in their heyday, if they even had a heyday. But you can tell this car has some rust around the shock towers, which may have been the reason this car was parked, because it wouldn't pass inspection anymore. I don't know, but, uh, but you know, I'm going to run a frame rail. I'm going to run frame rails all the way to the back. And make a little V8 four speed car out of this thing. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But still got all the original suspension under it, which I'm going to change. I'm actually thinking I might, since this is going to be mostly a street car, it's going to be a cruiser. Um, it's going to go to the shock, the strut shock even holds the hatch up. How about that? Anyway, this car is pretty much original. So, got the old flexible. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but oh, hold on. My camera's been changed. Okay. All nice flexible frame rails. But I get all that cut out and get all that rust cut out up front. Get this stuff. It's probably going to be a winter project. Maybe have it ready to go for next year. Uh, I do plan on putting bigger wheel tubs in it because I do want to run a 15 inch wheel on the car instead of the little 13 inch wheels, little trailer wheels. <laughs> so, anyway, the body's in pretty good shape. It's got some surface rust, but it's the original paint. It's got a bunch of dings in it. Well, not too bad. But my plan is to, uh, clean it up better uh like i said i had a couple of earlier videos when the guy hauled it down here for me and uh uh before i cleaned it up or and after i cleaned it up um but anyway i got lost so anyway hopefully i get some time the end by the end of summer to do some more to it but it's probably going to be fall winter 
I'm just too busy in the shop right now to be working on my stuff. Um, yeah, so. Anyway, it's just going to be a two-seater. It's not going to be a back seat. Uh, am I going to cage, put a cage in it? I don't know yet. Right now, I'm just going to put my 2 by 3 frame rails in. Build the rear rear end clip. Uh, put a 9-inch underneath of it. 9-inch forward rear. Uh, I've got one rear I've already cut down for a different project that never materialized. So, I've got that housing. Um, so... I just don't know. I haven't taken any measurements to see if I want to use that housing or cut another one down to fit it. But, uh, yeah. So, got a lot of work to do to it. It's like I said, it's original stock form. So, you know. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Just wanted to get this video out there. And, uh, over the years, over the past six, seven years, had many people try to get me to get another street car. And uh, I've had plenty of Camaros and Novas and Chevelles. I used to work on these things back when they were still on the road. Yeah. This one's going to get a V8 swap, four, uh, four speed swap over to a heavier duty four speed. I'm going to build it up like one of my uh, Novas I had back in the day where it was Muncie 4 speed and had a 400 engine in it. And uh, that was a pretty reliable, quick little car that you could drive every day if you needed to. So, I uh, plan on building something like an old school combo similar to that. And uh, But we'll see how it goes. So this one here, like I said, I'm going to put a frame underneath of it. So got to remove the original gas tank, suspension, rear end, all that stuff. So I've got to be able to get it in the shop, get it up in the air. And uh, once I get all that stuff unbolted and out from underneath of it, then I'll start cutting out the floors and uh, putting in the frame rails. So, all right, guys, well. You like this content i know i do a, i've done a lot of transmission videos and you guys seem to like that pretty well but you know this is uh dragsters and transmissions channel here so i do a little bit of everything um but like i said if you like this content give it a thumbs up share it if you have any questions leave a comment below subscribe to the channel click that little notification bell and uh, that way you'll get notified when uh, I post more videos in the near future. All right, thanks for watching.